Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is going to be a car tour. So about, I'm gonna say about three weeks ago now, I bought a new car, another Mini, because I just love Minis, they're my favorite car. Um, I used to have a Mini Cooper, um, which was a 2009 plate. Um, it had only done about, I'd say, I think it done about 70 something thousand miles by the time it had gone. But I'd spent so much money on it. I had just spent so much money on that car. I just wasn't feeling it anymore with that car. Um, so I thought, I'm gonna treat myself to a new car. I knew it was gonna have to be another Mini. I knew it was gonna have to be slightly bigger which this one is. I did look at like um, Countryman's and um, things like that, um, but I settled on a Mini One. Because it's a lot newer model, it's bigger and it's chunkier, um, safer. Um, so I absolutely love it. I love this car. Um, so I am gonna do you a little car tour. So I thought we would start on the exterior. I will show you the outside. Um, Obviously, I'll show you as much as I can without showing my number plate. Um, so yeah, let's do a car tour. Here is the front. It is a gorgeous orange colour. Um, the proper name for it is Volcanic Orange. Um, and I absolutely love it. So obviously, you've got the mini badge there. You've got the big round headlights, which is another feature of the minis. Um, if we come around the side, we've got the 16-inch um, alloys, which came with, um, it's got a special pepper pack, I think it's called, and um, that comes with the 16-inch alloys. I think the standard one comes with the 15-inch alloys. Um, but yeah, these are the 16, so I really love the wheels. As you can see, it's a lot, if I show you from the side, it's a lot chunkier. Um, it, to me, it looks longer than my last Mini Cooper. Um, as I say, I think as they've got newer, they have got bigger. Um, we've got tinted out windows at the back, which Atticus absolutely loves. Um, so we go around here. Again, I'm being very wary of not showing the number plate. So obviously we have the standard mini headlights. Um, around here, there we go. Around here, obviously, the same again. Um, we have the petrol cap, which is actually on the different side to my last Mini. The last one was on the other side. Um, and then, obviously, we also have the black roof. So, that is the exterior. And now we'll do the interior. So, the interior, very different to the last Mini. I think we'll start in the back, actually, because... If I show you, there is so much more room in the back than you would think. That's why I know it's a lot bigger. And Atticus says when he's sitting in here, there's a lot more room. And if I show you, like, so I'm an adult sitting here, and if I put this seat back, it is so comfortable. Um, a lot, lot more room. So in the back we have, which are so important, cup holders, but we not, we don't just have one cup holder, we have three. So we've got one over there, one in the middle, and then we've got one here. Um, so it's standard, it's a two-seater in the back, so we've got two seat belts, and um, obviously we've got Atticus's booster cushion here, his pillow for when he has a little nap. Um, pretty standard in the back, but really nice. One of the touches I do like um, on the seat, so I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but you've got like different colour um, stitching. It's like orange, white, um, really nice. Um, the seats are a different material also um, to my last car but again I just think that comes with how many has progressed. You can see now how um, these seat covers actually um, come off so they can be washed. Um, so yeah much better in the back a lot more room so now we will go to the exciting part which is the front. Okay so front I'll start off at the steering wheel here so obviously it's a three do they call it a three spoke steering wheel it's a real leather again that comes with the pepper pack um, 
really comfortable steering wheel again very different to my old mini um it just feels different it feels thick it feels um solid um so then in front we have the speedometer we have the rev counter um, and here we have the petrol gauge so this is completely different to the old one the speedometer on the old mini was in the middle um, so now it's all in front of me um, so when I turn the ignition on you will see it all flashes up got half a tank of petrol um this tells me here when atticus um obviously when he's in the back of the car recognizes that there's someone in the back and it will tell me if he's got his seat belt on properly um then also here we have the temperature which is a much cooler 18 degrees today the time is 12 minutes past nine and here now i really like this obviously i can switch this round so if i show you um at the moment it's on um the speed I'm doing and I really like that in front of me I had that in front of me in the old mini um, because basically it just stops you going over the speed limit you know no one wants to go over the speed limit but then we could change it round so we see here the date um, temperature of the engine okay um, I have 134 um, miles of petrol in the car um, it does 38 miles per gallon um, I think that is that my average speed 22.9 miles per hour that's because I just do a lot of town driving um, and then we'll put it back on that so that's handy to have all that in front of you there um, then here obviously we have the air vent this car has got great great air conditioning this is another big bonus that this has got such great air conditioning so then we'll come to the middle part um, I love this part um, so it's like chrome I think it's chrome around here um, then this is like your media center if you like so if I switch the ignition on again so mini comes up and as you can see this all lights up you can change the color of this with the ambient lighting um, which I will show you in a minute um, so you've got your menu here so you choose from multimedia um, radio my phone um, all different sorts along here um, then obviously you've got the radio controls you've got the volume then if we come down here let's turn the ignition off if we come down here um, this controls the these three here controls the air conditioning and the um, heating um, then we've got the air conditioning button here then we've got the maximum air conditioning which the last few days we've we're getting a heat wave aren't we and that's been great um, and then we come down here and we have a start stop button which so no key is needed to start the car but of course the car has to um, sense that the actual key is nearby um, else anyone could just get in and start it couldn't they so obviously once the car senses that the key is nearby um, you just put your foot on the um, clutch and press that down and that will start the engine and then the same with stopping so it's just a start stop button um, so that's the middle bit I'll show you how you can change the colours and everything in a minute. Um, obviously another air vent, and we've got another one over there. Um, I can really recommend these car air fresheners. I used to get the Yankee Candle ones. Do you know what? They smelt for about a day and that was it. But um, this is one of them Lenore, um, oh, Lenore Fresh and Stoppable ones and it, it smells lovely. Um, then obviously we've got the doors here, um, standard, we've got this nice bit here, we've got a glove box there with some bits in, then we've got the middle bit here, we've got two cup holders handy for them coffees, then we've got the gear stick, um, this has six gears like the other one did, um, then we've got the handbrake and then if we come over here we have my door which obviously here has some um, the buttons to open and shut the window and then obviously we have the speakers um, so I will show you now how you change color how you change the color of this and then also um, do you know what I still haven't actually been in the car when it's pitch black <laughs> um, but I imagine everything just lights up really nicely. You can choose your ambient lighting and it would show up a lot lot more but um, you change the color up here 
so if I switch the engine ignition on anyway then this one yes as you can see so now it's gone to yellow green what we got next oh that's green <laughs> Then we've got what's coming up next, a really bright green. Oh, we've got blue, I like that one. I like the blue. And we've got like a dark blue. What we've got next coming up? Oh, we've got purple, that's nice. We've got pink, red. And then I think we'll be back to, um, the orange which I do like because obviously it matches the car um, and then obviously at night all this in the footwell will light up um, as well so that is the interior uh, so now I'll show you the boot it has a much bigger boot um, and there's also a separate button for opening the boot so obviously in here I've got my shopping bags but the boot is so much bigger and I can fit so much more in the last boot it was absolutely tiny and also as well I'm not quite sure how to do it yet because I haven't had the need to but this part here lifts up and it goes even deeper which is great for all them like British holidays um, so we can fit loads in there then obviously we've got the shelf here so yeah that was my little car tour i hope you enjoyed um i love my car i'm a bit of a bit of a petrol head i love cars so really interested and like i say mini is my absolute favorite brand i just absolutely love them i love the character um yeah and i think they've managed to keep the character as well even though obviously things have progressed they've got bigger um they've got more modern but they've they've still managed to keep um the character of the car which is great um i really want to take atticus to the mini factory in i think it's oxford there's one in oxford and then there's one somewhere else and they normally do a two-hour tour around the plant seeing how the cars are made and everything else but they've stopped it and they haven't done it for absolutely ages i think they stopped it obviously with the pandemic and they still haven't started it again but as soon as they do we will be going there so yeah that's my car tour i hope you like it um it's really bringing me so much pleasure so worth every penny um so yeah i will see you soon for another video bye